Hello, you are welcome to mathematics class with Flash ID. So far under calculus, I've released a video on limits of a function, differentiation from first principle, standard derivatives. And the major highlights are, if I give say differentiate s, it's simply 1. If I say differentiate a constant like 5, you simply say it is 0. If I say differentiate s squared, you simply say 2s, which is 2 times s raised to the power of 2 minus 1. We use the power to multiply the uh, uh, what is here. We subtract 1 from the power. So if I say 3s raised to the power of 4, 4 times 3s raised to the power of 4 minus 1. For algebraic differentiation, which is 4s raised to the power of 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. And I also said that when you differentiate sine s or sine theta, you get cos theta. And when you differentiate cos theta, cos theta, you get minus sine theta. I'll share a link to the videos so you go through them if you have not. Today, we shall be dealing with product rule. What is product rule? This I'll be giving you, we'll be differentiating functions. S, trigonometric function, you differentiate exponential functions, inverse trigonometric functions, and so many more. What if you are given a product? Something like S sine theta. In this case, this is a function on its own. This is another one on its own. You are multiplying them. It is the same thing as S times sine theta. That is product. So when we are multiplying in differentiation, we apply product rule. What does product rule state? How do we solve products? Let me add this to the set of questions, or let me make it the first question. S times theta. The product rule states that dy ds is equals if y equals u v. The y ds is equals u dv ds plus v du ds. Look at what this means. When you are giving products like s y is equals s and theta, so let's similarly this is y is equals u v, where u is equals s, v is equals sine theta, right? That is the product. u dv ds means keep u constant, don't do anything to u. dv ds means differentiate v with respect to s. V du ds means keep u constant, keep v constant, differentiate u with respect to s. So in essence, when you are differentiating products, keep the first one constant, differentiate the second one, plus keep the second one constant, differentiate the first one. That is, for s times theta, the y ds is equals u. u is s, s dv ds if you if v is sine theta dv ds or v prime which is differentiating v we have cos theta cos theta that here will be cos theta plus v this is v sine theta times du dv the u dv means you differentiate to u. What is u? U, we say let u is s, u is equals s. So du ds is equals 1. When you differentiate s, you get 1. How? S is the same thing as s raised to the power of 1. 1 times s, 1 times s. Then we subtract 1 from the power, like I showed you. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 1 times s raised to the power of 0. And any reasonable number in mathematics raised to the power of zero, the answer is one. So that is why when you differentiate s, you get one. This is sine theta times one. So we can put this in bracket. Where this is u, this is dv over the s. Differentiating. This is v. Here is one. Du 
Yes. So keep one constant, differentiate the second one, plus keep the second one constant, differentiate the first one. That is the whole idea. This simply gives you S cos theta plus sine theta. That is the answer. Simple, right? Let's look at this. Taking a look at this, these are two functions. This is one, this is the other one. Let's say s let's say u is equals s squared. Meaning v will be 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 4. What will du ds now be? Du ds is equals 2s. When you differentiate s squared, you get 2s. What about this? Now take note of something. Do we get that type of function? almost all the time if you are asked to differentiate this the simplest way to do it is differentiate inside here when you differentiate 2s you have 2 differentiate minus 5 you have 0 differentiation of constant is 0 so everything here is 2 when you differentiate bring out the 2 then write everything 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 4 now remember the rule this times everything, then you subtract 1 from the power. That is 4 times this 1 from the power, which is the standard rule of differentiation. 4 times 2 is 8. So this gives you 8, 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 3. So that is dv over the s is 8, 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 3. That is the result of differentiating this. We have everything we need. We simply substitute into the formula. dy over ds is equals s. Uh, u rather. So let u be s squared. So s squared. dv ds. dv ds. We said 8, 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 3. Plus, plus, V. We said let V be this. So this is V. 2S minus 5. Times the UDS. The UDS is 2S. Like we solved. So this is 2S. Keep the first one constant. Differentiate the second one. Plus, keep the second one constant. Differentiate the first one. This gives you... 8 s squared, 2 s minus 5, raised to the power of 3, plus 2 s, 2 s minus 5, raised to the power of 3. Now, this is actually your answer. If you choose to simplify, you can actually factorize. This is, let's say for objective exams, maybe you don't see this in the option. You look at here and here. You look at here. And you look at here, what is common? There is 2s minus 5 here, there is 2s minus 5 here. And this one is raised to the power of 3, this one is raised to the power of 4. Which means this is 4 times, this is 3 times. We can bring 3 from here. So here and here are common. We bring out 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 3. Also, there is 2s here, there is 8s squared here. We can bring out 2s. 2s divided by 2s is 1. 8s squared divided by 2s, that will give you 4s, which remains here, plus the one remaining here. After we remove 3 of them, you get 2s minus 5. So simplifying, you simply get 4s plus 2s, 6s minus 5. So that is it, if you choose to simplify. So go ahead and solve this. In the same procedure, you get the answer. I hope you found this helpful. This is Product Rule. I am Isaac, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Have a wonderful day.